Hey, I'm Alistair from the Drinking Man's Guide to Scotland. Today I'm lucky enough to be having a barbecue at my friend's house and he has a lovely pizza oven over here. You want to tell us a bit about that, Russell? Well, it's a pizza oven which I built, having a, an interesting pizza. Um, it was a series of different fire brick. Scammel export. I had priced the, doing the whole thing in the fire brick, but it was going to be out of my price range. So I've built a Scammel X board, which is a, a cheaper produce, which takes up to 2000 degrees Celsius. Brilliant. Um, and I built a geodesic dome, uh -huh. and then laced it in a, a chicken wire, and then insulated it with a vermiculite, which you mix with cement, and then a, a lime render on the outside. Um, it's oh. weathering okay, but I ideally want to put a roof over the thing, like a thatch or oh, something. Right, good. So all yeah. that, so you could cook us some pizza later on. Yeah, you know, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, to go with the pizza, we have chosen Harveston's Old Engine Oil, right? Which is uh, six percent. It's a porter. It's from the Harveston Brewery down in Alva. Uh, I happen to know that that is called Old Engine Oil because the original brewer down there used to work for Ford, and uh, that he brewed this first of all. I think it's his recipe, and he likened it to being like Old Engine Oil. So the name stuck on the brew, so Harveston's old engine oil. So let's just open up and give it a wee, uh, a wee taste, will we? First. Okay. And a little bit for me. Oh, I seem to have got most of it. There you go, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing the last two takes. <laughs> so, uh, quite uh, dark, quite viscous. I... I'm getting a bit of... Oh, 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 can I smell off of that? Quite a... It's got a slight bitter aftertaste as well. It's nice though. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's won the uh, Champion Beer of Scotland as well, this one. Mm. A 2009 if I remember rightly, but I might, I might be wrong with that. A, well, what, what's, your, what's your verdict on it, do you think? It's good, I like it. Um, to give a full taste, I, do, I think I need the full pint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit meek with my measures today, that's what it is, you know? But no, it's, uh, it's got a... It's definitely one I could drink. Um, it's a nice warm feeling I get from it. It's not yeah. just the pizza oven. It's not just the warm <laughs> pizza oven. Actually, yeah. Although, how hot is that? About 2,000 degrees or something? Well, it'll be close to 2,000 degrees in the middle. On the outside edge, we're sitting at uh, probably about 400 degrees at the front. Wow. So, ideal for cooking pizzas. Right. And drinking. And drinking a uh, Harvest and Olin, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm. But what's, what's your take on it? Well, I'd say it's very smooth and lubricating, just like engine oil, oil would be. <laughs> um, it's very pleasant. It's quite a mild. It's not too overly bitter. It's a no, it's not hoppy or that. It's not a kind of not, hoppy. It's, it's a, a nice, slight drink. bitterness to it, but not yep. an awful lot. Quite yep. nice. Quite nice. It's quite pleasing to the palate. So it's, it's a nice, nice beer. All right. Well, let's uh, let's uh, enjoy the rest of it and uh, get a bit of pizza later on. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers from the Drinking Man's Guide to Scotland. <laughs> hey, we have an audience. <laughs> <laughs>